hi guys welcome to the quick tutorial and captions aren't great i'll fix that for the next set of tutorials but for now this is basically all the things that we kind of talked about that i didn't get a good recording of in the first class so this is obs this is super simple basic obs it has a couple scenes in fact i'm gonna completely set it to something new um so that way i'm typing in the wrong computer Hold on. we're gonna start completely from scratch new profile new everything So we're going to start completely from scratch. We're going to run the auto configuration like I talked about. So when you first install OBS, you'll get this auto configuration wizard and you really should use it. It, it, it does know what it's doing. Um, if you're doing streaming, you want to optimize OBS for streaming and then recording a secondary. If you want to just recordings, then optimize it for that. But we're going to optimize for streaming. Um, the base canvas resolution now that is a 4k laptop so that's why uh, it's showing um, 3840 by 2160 but actually you want to make sure uh, since I'm not going to be streaming at 4k and I don't even want to capture a 4k to be honest I'm going to capture it 1920 or 1920 by 1080 which is standard 1080 uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set the base resolution to 1080 and then FPS will be either 60 or 30 um, but prefer 60 when possible. So this is going to tell OBS that if it can handle 60 it's going to do it. If not then it won't. We're going to hit next. Uh, service Twitch will, will connect accounts and then you will literally log into Twitch. Now I think I can do this without service twitch prefer hardware encoding and estimate bitrate with bandwidth uh, this thing is actually on the wi-fi so this could be a little wonky but it's probably more consistent with what you guys actually have as far as the internet goes so here we go uh we're gonna hit next and it's gonna do this thing and it's gonna look really weird but this is it this is the auto configuration doing its thing um it's gonna use basically the best settings that it can come up with and then suggest the best settings it can come up with and then also suggest uh, the best bit rate that it can run. The bandwidth test can take a minute depending on your rate. So we sit and wait. Interesting it chose it chose <laughs> it chose Virginia. <laughs> Usually chooses Atlanta. I think. I don't remember. I don't remember where the Twitch servers are. I thought there was one in Atlanta. Maybe Virginia is the closest one. Anyway. Anyway, so that's the auto configuration. Come on. Okay, cool. Uh, so, oh, hey, awesome. It has figured out that it can handle the best server is uh, Ashburn, Virginia. Video bit rate is six thousand. NVENC. This has an NVIDIA graphics card on its on it, and then nineteen twenty by ten eighty, uh, nineteen twenty by ten eighty scaled resolution and sixty FPS. That's cool. I didn't know my laptop could handle high settings. Those are good settings. Um, and then you'll see it will load in. Um, it will load in Twitch. Just as if, which is funny because like we're live right now. So I think theoretically, if I if I say hi in chat, yeah. So it will load in your Twitch chat. It will load in. Um, it will load in two things. No, don't do that. Oh, that's awful. Why would it ever do that? It will load in Twitch chat and it will load in uh, a Twitch chat panel and it will load in your stream information panel. Um, Again, this is if you logged in with Twitch. Uh, now, the first thing I like to do from here is sort of just some basic, if you've ever used like Adobe products, uh, you can set this up. This is a staged window, you can set it up. So the first thing I like to do is pin these. Um, pin them on the right or left side, and I actually like to stack them. Um, so you can stack them together like that. And I think on my main machine, I have them on the on the left but it 
doesn't really matter. It's kind of your, it's kind of user preference from here. So now you can see chat, you can have stream information, all this sort of stuff. Um, so that's auto configuration. So let's talk about what it configured. Um, you can go to settings. There are two ways to get to settings. You can go to file settings or down here is the controls. Um, all the way down here in the lower right is controls. And so you can just hit settings. Now let's talk about the settings that the auto configuration set up. So we're going to go to settings again. And the first thing it set was stream. So it automatically logged you into Twitch. It set the appropriate server for you. It set Virginia for me. Um, and there are two Virginia servers. Um, and then there's an Atlanta server. So one thing, if you notice that your like connection to Twitch is kind of wonky, one of the things you could do is change the server it's connecting to. Uh, it may not change anything, but you could always try it. I don't know why it's at Virginia. Usually it sets Atlanta, so I don't know what that's about. But anyway, that's the first thing that set is it went ahead and logged you into Twitch. Uh, it also tell you what Twitch's settings base settings are. So Twitch's uh, maximum video bitrate is six kbps, and their maximum audio bitrate is three twenty. Um, just a heads up FYI and then the next thing it set was the output so it set this based on your internet if you find that you're dropping frames or when you start streaming there'll be green yellow red down here if you're in the red a lot your bitrate is probably too high and so that's one of the first things you can change is you can lower your bitrate to say if it can't handle the stream then say lower this to 3000 maybe 2000, even go down to 2000 to start, depending on what your uh, internet upload speed is. Uh, the easiest thing, the easiest er, initial test is to go at half of your upload speed and yeah, go at half of your upload speed and then bump up from there. So if you have say an upload of five megabits, go to 2000 or 2500 uh, kbps which is half of five megabits and then sort of go up from there. 3000 is where you want to at least try to get to 6,000 is the goal. 6,000 is the max at Twitch. That's just how it goes. And the next thing it said is uh, NVENC. We talked about this, that NVENC uses your graphics card and two six X two six four uses your process, uh, your PC, the processor audio bit rate is almost always at 160. I don't know anyone that's ever had less than that, um, but you can change it. Uh, Twitch doesn't let you do better uh, unless you're a musician, a partnered musician. Um, Twitch doesn't let you do better. So just leave it at um, 160. You can basically stop here on streaming from simple. There are advanced settings and we'll talk about those, but it's a little more advanced than you want to know. The second thing that sets is video. So there's a base resolution, which is sort of what it will record everything at. Uh, again, for the most for most of you this should be already this should already just be 1080 and you can just stick with that um base resolution is what your monitor resolution actually is if you have a 4k monitor which is what i have you can do it at 4k and it will downscale it to uh 1080. um twitch does not let you stream it at 4k youtube does but only for partners i think um so not everybody gets it um but actually on my laptop, I actually like to set the base resolution at 1080, which does cause a few problems if I do like full screen stuff, but it's easy to, it's an easy thing to fix, but set it at 1080. Scaled resolution is another way. If you're skipping frames or you're overloading your encoding, if you lower the scaled resolution, then you can reduce the amount of encoding that's having to go out and how much data you're sending. So if you're skipping a lot of frames, drop that to 720 and then also drop the FPS down here to 30. Start there and work your way up. Always start at the bottom. I like to start at the bottom and work my way up from there and see what my internet can handle. Um, so if your internet can't handle 1080, 60, then start at seven, start at scaled resolution, 720, and, um, and then work your way up from there. Now, if it can't handle 720, then obviously move further down. That's the basics of the what auto configuration does. The other thing you have to pay attention to for configuration is it may not automatically, it should, but it may not automatically set audio devices. It should, but it might not. If it doesn't, you can go to audio. 
you can set your desktop audio to just default and mic to default and then it will work um, you can see there are actual multiple options here uh, depending on sort of what you have plugged in my laptop just doesn't have anything plugged into it when we do advanced stuff I'll show you how to do advanced things so if you're not getting any audio um, set those real quick to default and then sort of live life from there now that's the basics so